Hi, I'm Lisa Ference, and today I'd like to talk with you about one of the ways that you can bring some questioning into the assessment phase of your work with clients. Now, I say the assessment phase, but I think the reality is, is that assessment is something that we really weave into all facets of the therapeutic process. It's not something that's limited just to the earliest sessions that we have. So when we're doing assessment with our clients, we always have to be mindful of pacing the questioning in a way that's not going to cause dysregulation in our clients. We don't want to overwhelm them. We don't want to throw too much at them, especially before we've succeeded in establishing a safe and trusting therapeutic relationship. But it is so essential to understand the context, the family of origin experiences that really help us as clinicians have more insight as to where our clients have come from and what they're bringing with them in terms of having been influenced by those earliest life experiences. So there are three areas that I think are really helpful to ask about, and they can typically feel less threatening to your clients. So in the earlier stages of treatment, I think it's safe to ask about these three areas of experience. The first is mealtime. Now, although I'm saying to you, I think that this is a less threatening area to pursue, the reality is, is that we can never really know for sure the specific questions that are going to evoke perhaps a triggered response in our client. So this is going to be case by case and you need to have a good understanding of where your client is in the work. But if you think it's appropriate, asking your client to describe what mealtime felt like in their family of origin can actually reveal some very powerful information. Was there mealtime? What were the dynamics that unfolded when they all sat at the table together? Was this a time where people could safely process the experiences that they had during the day? Was this a time when everybody had to be totally silent? Was this a time where mom and dad started to drink or there was more aggression and fighting? So any information you can get about the quality of mealtime will be useful. The second area to ask about are holidays. And as you can imagine, holidays can either be memories that are filled with very positive, bonding, warm experiences, or it can be a time where there is a lot of strife, either for financial reasons or because, again, this is when people are more likely to drink or to have more dissension amongst family members. So we want to have an understanding of what, what were holidays like? Were they celebrated? Were they acknowledged in any positive way? And the third area that I ask about are family vacations. And again, I'm not assuming that they always went on family vacations, but it's just important to discover that they never went on a family vacation. Or perhaps they only went to places where mom or dad wanted to go, and it was boring, or it was, again, filled with tension or anxiety for the children sitting in the back seat. So if you can take the time in ways that you think are safe and comfortable to ask your clients about mealtime, holidays, and vacations, I think these are very powerful door openers into putting your clients into that family of origin context and getting a better understanding about how healthy or dysfunctional their upbringing really was.